All righty, I have a construction update for you guys today, and honestly, I'm really excited. It's inside the park. So as you can see there, there is a straightaway of orange markings. That is going to be the launch for the coaster. Um, and what you're about to see is right where those orange, uh, the red flags are, I'm going to get a better angle very shortly for you guys, is the actual station. So you'll be able to see exactly where the station is and the launch based off of the markings here. Um, again, this takes up a lot more space than even we were kind of, I guess, like understanding based off of the, the, um, what do you call them? The animation looks like a small footprint, but it is a lot larger than it, um, than you can kind of see in the, uh, animation. But as you see that, that little square, that's going to be where the station is. Um, for those of you that don't know, but when they start a coaster, they like to start, uh, the, the digging out there to put the electrical and all that, the gas lines that they needed, electrical water, all that kind of jazz, um, in for the station. So you can see all that work taking place already. And then they got the straightaway with the orange markings and the, they've definitely leveled the land. Um, a lot more than it used to be and removed a lot of the debris, but there's still a lot more leveling to go unless they're actually going to let this coaster kind of go with the terrain. That'd be kind of cool because it does look like they might be done so far with leveling, which means it is going to kind of hug some of the terrain if this is the case. So that's going to be really cool. Um, so I wanted to stress that. But as you can see, there's markings galore everywhere. And there's also markings on the other side as well. So we're not sure if that's going to be for a 2024 kind of like little kids expansion as well. Probably nothing significant, just a flat ride. Again, Wonderland is super predictable now in terms of me. I like I know exactly what Wonderland's going to do based off of their addition. So already got a really good understanding on 2024 editions. Um, with that being said, um, they're moving pretty quickly now. Like again, if for those of you that remember the drone footage from just a week ago, even I think like nowhere like this. So by the end of Winterfest, like we could see footings. Now it is getting cold, really cold, really quickly. Um, I don't know if that's an age thing, but I'm not handling this weather really well at Winterfest. I'm getting really cold. I can hardly film. Um, appropriately um but yeah um nonetheless uh, lots of money being invested into wonderland for next season i'm going to show you some of the stuff now still working on some of the other things so a lot of you know i had mentioned a vortex um upgrade so i've been discussing kind of like vortex getting some refurbishment done to it um i gotta be really careful with how i word this i don't want to get any um yeah, I, I just got to be really careful. As you're going to see, um, just looking at the ride, anyone can tell that something is going on. Um, so they've done some welding. There's going to be some more cross ties by the looks of things, uh, at what they're doing, added to the ride for further support. Um, so you're going to see some of those areas where welding and repainting has occurred. Um, it's very obvious when you look at it and zoom in where there's been some work. There is still a lot more work to go. Um, they're going to work on, so for those of you, uh, to, to word it appropriately and kind of describe it to you best, um, at the beginning of the season, if you remember my videos, they were kind of welding Leviathan's track. Well, that's essentially what's about to happen to Vortex. Vortex is going to have a third-party company come in, um, and place kind of like metal sheets over areas that need it, and then they weld it down to match the track. So next season, you won't even be able to tell which areas were welded. Uh, because it's going to weld it down completely. Leviathan had it done. You can't tell on Leviathan where it had it done at the beginning of the season. Um, it's It occurs when there's hairline fraction, uh, fractures in the track, which is normal, by the way. Happens all the time. Um, but Vortex has got a lot of them. And it's going to have a lot of repair work done to it and a lot of refurbishment. But outside of that, Wonderland has scored some sort of deal on TVs because there are TVs everywhere now seating dining areas um rides have multiple they're all working now too which is crazy because in the summer they weren't working so out of nowhere wonderland somehow been able to fix them um, well they have these new tvs um, and it looks like even the flip counter will be working next season because they've been doing some work on the tv specific to the flip counter on skyhawk um and yeah so they're gonna have ride wait times as well um, and all the ride supervisors will have iPads that can control the ride wait time. So that'll be really cool to see. So lots of really cool investments coming into Canada's Wonderland. That's only a few. I can't talk about some things yet because I have to release them 
at a very specific timing. Just, um, yeah. So stay tuned because Wonderland has got a lot of money coming into it. It's a good time to invest. The Canadian dollar is really low and the American dollar being invested into Canada saves them about 40% on investment. So says a lot. Anyway, stay tuned, guys. Hopefully everyone's having a great Winterfest. Thanks for watching. Bye.